Hi, Northwest. On Sunday morning, we resumed our services live. We had this massive tent, and so many of you came out. Uh, we had an amazing time together. The Lord really blessed uh, those of us uh, that were able to be there for that. Uh, next Sunday morning, we'll do the same. Uh, we have services at 8 and 10. So if you're an 11 o'clock person, you got to get there a little bit earlier. Uh, it's worth it. We're, we've got something for your kids. We've got something for you. And uh, I hope that uh, this is going to be something that's going to help you return to life a little more normally. School's kicking back into session soon. Uh, many of you are a week or two away from beginning that. Uh, many of us are going to be having to do that at home again on Zoom or other forms of ways that they're teaching our, our kids. I am thankful that God has provided a way for us to meet together as a church. Uh, for those of you who still cannot, uh, we have our, all of our online services uh, are available. We have KMPH available. Um, as we get into September, we're going to be kicking off our life groups. And so I want you to be thinking about that. I want you to be thinking about getting involved in a life group. This is another thing that we are allowed by the state to do, uh, where we can meet together in homes or we can meet together either outside at church or even indoors at church. We're allowed to do that in, uh, in smaller groups. And so I hope that um, you're going to be participating in, in those things as they, they come up. And we're all in prayer that God is going to uh, see us through this thing. We're going to get through it. It's just a matter of taking the opportunities that we're going to have. Uh, all of us have opportunities. You have opportunities to share the gospel, whether it's virtually, like I might be doing right now, or whether it's in person as someone comes to your door or you meet somebody that's uh, some kind of a customer service person or a friend. Um, take those opportunities that God brings your way to minister because this time did not come as a surprise to him. He wants us right where we are with the decisions that we have to make in the middle of this COVID-19 thing that's going on in the shutdowns, it is his will for us to be here. But what is his will for us to do is as unique as each one of us that's listening to this. What we do know is he wants us to give him glory. The Bible says that the light didn't come to be put under a bushel. Jesus says that the light came to shine. And of course, he is that light. And when he is in your life, there are a lot of bushels that you can put over the light of Christ. One of those bushels is discouragement and complaining. On Sunday morning, we talked about how the children of Israel complained, and God sent snakes to bite them. He doesn't like complaining. I've been guilty during this pandemic of complaining. I don't know about you. That's something I've had to say, Lord, I'm sorry. I'm not seeing what you're trying to do here. Don't complain. Don't look for the things that are going wrong. Look for where God is working. Sometimes you can look past this thing that seems so bad and you can see that God is providing a way for you. He's providing an opportunity for you to trust in him and to believe that he wants you right where you're at in a place where you have to rely on him more than you've had to do in the past. I believe all of us are having to rely on Christ much more than we've had to do in the past. And yes, along with this shutdown, many, many temptations. They've abounded. I've read recently that alcohol use and alcohol consumption is up by like 30%. Um, not something that you want to hear. Obviously, many of the good things are down. You know, gyms are down and churches are way down. But even in the midst of those temptations, every temptation brings with it an opportunity to believe. There's an opportunity to say, God, I'm going to trust in you. I'm not going to trust in some thing that I'm tempted to do. I'm not going to trust in that to give me any kind of satisfaction. My delight is going to be in you. The Bible says in Psalm 19:14, delight thyself also in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. That's my prayer for all of us, is that we're going to find our delight in him. Uh, my prayer is that we'll be able to do that together. And so those of you 
who are comfortable coming back to an outdoor service, come back on Sunday morning. We've just started a new series called Brand New. We're talking about how God wants to make our lives totally brand new. He wants to give us a new birth we talked about on Sunday. And this Sunday coming up, we're going to talk about how God wants to change our worldview, how we view this world, and how we can put on a new set of glasses and see things through God's perspective. Then we'll talk about the new master we have and the great new joy that God wants to give you. I hope that you're going to join us for this series, uh, whether it's virtually or right back at Northwest Church on our campus on the South Lawn. Well, I want you to know I love you guys. I'm praying for you, and I hope to see you real soon. God bless you guys. Have a great day.